how does he hurt you? How does he hurt you? You say you always let him back in your life. How does he hurt you? The, the very last time, honestly, he's in jail right now. For what? Touching my daughter. How long is he going to be in jail? I honestly don't know. Um, because what's probably going to happen is you're going to be, you're going to see him and be with him probably when he gets out again. And I want, I don't know how, and this is the guy on the shoot. I just don't know how to let him go. Okay. What do you mean that you're, you said that you've been proposed to twice and you're afraid of getting hurt. What does that mean? So with my children's father, that was my second relationship. Okay. How old were you? Um, I'm 39 right now. No, how old were you when that you said that was your second relationship? How old were you then? Um, I was in my twenties. Um, Early 20s, late 20s? I was like 26, 27. Okay, and you're 39 now? Okay. Yes. Okay, so what happened there? De describe. You said you, you got, he proposed to you? He did. Okay, he so did. What, what happened? When I was actually giving birth to our son, his mom came to the hospital and she told me she saw him with another girl. Why are you pregnant before you have the marriage? I was dumb. I was dumb. I was attracted to his physical and then I got to understand who he really was. What about his and physical? I'm, what about his physical was attracting attractive to you? His eyes. I loved his eyes. I loved his smile. That's what that's what attracted me to him. His eyes and his smile. We started we started off as friends. We were friends first and you know, things just led one thing to another. Okay. A lot of y'all do that. Because it does something to y'all emotions, right? When a man have certain eyes, listen to the <clears throat> to the men in here. I want y'all to understand something. I want y'all to pay attention. If you're a somewhat attractive man, or if you don't think you're that attractive, you can just get a fresh haircut or whatever you're looking good. Most of the time, I want you to pay attention to what women do when they check you out. One of the main things they do. They'll because they do it to me a lot. Right. They look and they want to look like directly in my eyes. They'll give me like a strong eye contact to kind of look. It's something about women that they like the eyes on a man. They want to see there's a certain look that they want to see in that man's eyes. And especially if a man have a, what they call exotic looking eyes, they like that. And now y'all starting to like these dudes that have the eyes that they look hard in. They look more like they bent they, they, a criminal look is what I call it. You know, they got a petition out where these women are trying to save Wade Wilson, a man who took out two women. I think one of them was a BW. Maybe both of them was BW, Caucasian man. They love this man with all them tattoos on his face, look crazy, have no emo emotionless eyes. That's sexy to y'all now. That's making y'all thing wet. Y'all need that. That tells me y'all have a lot of issues here mentally. If you're attracted to or turned on a man, that it's not that he looks happy and joyful and youthful and full of life. He looked dead on the inside. That's attractive to y'all. That's what we've come down to. Okay, let's get back to you. You lo you loved his eyes. You loved his look. How tall was he? Um, like five, six. He's oh, he shorter was, than I am. Okay, he's short. You just liked his look, his just his eyes and his smile. His conversation was everything. He and ran game on I you. He ran game on you. 
mind game and I thought you know everything that he was speaking was genuine because he's he's older than I am he's a lot older so when you were given and, birth like what do you mean by a lot older 10 years 20 years he's 13 years older than I am okay so what happened when you were giving birth again he was with another female and who saw this his mom saw it his, his mom, mom saw it. his mom saw this and this is all his while mom. his mom what sent me the picture okay. she came she sent me the picture and then she came to the hospital and you were engaged because at the time i was yeah, yes after you saw that picture did you have sexual activity with him again after that not since I didn't ask you that. Did you have no, any no. sexual activity with him after that? No. That was it. That was it. Hmm. And my youngest son is about to be 12 years old on Christmas day. Okay. So you're hurt. Have, have you been to therapy before? I have. Okay. I see it in your eyes in the way that you're talking. You, you need a lot more. You didn't go enough. A lot of y'all need to be in therapy for years, going weekly and telling them and pressing them to help you, to give you activities, to give you things that you can do and actually follow and holding you accountable. Y'all don't. Y'all just go and barely do the bare minimum. And then y'all get out. This is why I don't think a lot of therapy works on modern women and especially the BW, because what y'all do as y'all do stuff to undo the therapy. Y'all go sit in a therapy session and then sit around a whole bunch of toxic, no good friends and family sisters and all that. And listen to a whole bunch of toxic music and it just ruins it. You can't go to, you can't go to therapy or you can't even go to a psychiatrist to try to heal your mind. And then you're sitting there listening to songs that tell you about how ninjas ain't ish they just cheat and you want you this and that no i'm telling you a lot of y'all do that though that's why y'all when's it how you haven't been with him for at least 10 years right yes you still hurting from that that's what you shaking your head talking about no you, you still no, you still shh, shh, hold on you still haven't even gotten over that that's the problem. My my other relationship, my other relationship, and this is where I feel like I messed up myself because we broke up. You know, we've been off and on for years, years. I always allow him back into my life because I really do love him. I love him. But he always hurts me. How does he just, hurt you? How does he hurt you? How does he hurt you? You say you always let him back in your life. How does he hurt you? The, the very last time, honestly, he's in jail right now. For what? Touching my daughter. How long is he going to be in jail? I honestly don't know. Um... Because what's yeah. probably going to happen is you're going to be, you're going to see him and be with him probably when he gets out again. And I want, I don't know how, and this is the guy on the shoot. I just don't know how to let him go. I don't know how. You need to book a I session. Listen, listen. I understand. You need to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me. I'm telling y'all right now, uh, in August, starting August, I'm raising the prices on all my one-on-ones. So you need to get in now. Okay. There's a lot of information. There's private things that I don't like exposing and getting into a lot of personal, personal details on these streams. I'll ask y'all some general stuff, but I get way more in depth in private. Again, in depth in, listen, listen, 
I, I'll get, go more in depth with you in private. But the issue that you're having right now, right, is right. you're you're going to ruin your daughter's life because you you're not dealing with you. And you're probably already ruining her life right now. How old is she? Fifteen. You don't got. When did he touch her? She's been saying since she was six. Wow. And I've never even suspected. I've never even thought that I don't allow people. Y'all don't like have that. these type of conversations either. I do. I do talk to her about that. I was. I talk Listen, to her my mother used to always my mother used to always tell me, I mean, regularly, son, you need to let me know if anybody touch you, anybody try to do this. And anybody tell you to not talk about or tell you don't do this if it comes to your private part, your private area. She was very adamant and I always felt comfortable to go tell my mother something like that because she was always talking to me about that and make sure it was a safe uh, space. She probably don't feel safe enough to tell you. She probably never did. You probably ain't never because I'm telling you right now, this hurt and this pain and the way that you are. She probably was like, how am I going to go to her for healing? And you need a whole bunch of healing yourself. And your daughter needs a whole bunch of therapy now, too. Is she in therapy? Please tell me your daughter's in therapy. Yes, she is. She is. Twice a week. That's good. So again, like I'm just I'm I'm scared to let people. You need you need a, because I'm gonna tell you right now, I guarantee y'all don't ask questions about and figure out about these guys, their past, their criminal background. Y'all don't know nothing about uh, what his mama has to say about him, what his sisters have to say about him. Y'all just get into y'all feelings. Hold on, be quiet. The feelings of, it's something about his eyes. Oh my God. He just don't, he, and he know just how to, he know how to say the right things to me. You probably got a lot of trauma from your upbringing. You don't look like you came from a decent household either. Just by what I'm looking at and what I'm talking to. I didn't. I didn't. My mom, she smoked crack. My father was her pimp, her dealer. Like my grandparents, you know, they they took over my life when I was 13 years old. They took me in at 13. So I'm, I'm really, really, I try to be really, really careful who I'm in my life. And this particular guy, I've been knowing him since I was 16. So he wasn't a stranger. I just, I, I really, I hate, I hate myself more. How, long, because how many years have you been with him on and off? Oh my God. Um, at least, at least 17 on and off. A predator. He was more interested in you this whole time than, than, I mean, he was more interested in your daughter this whole time than you. This whole time, he's been more interested in your daughter than you. You understand that? And that's crazy because I, I like to think that I really am a good woman. I don't go out to the club. I don't even post. Because I don't have a reason to. I don't post my children. I don't even post myself. I was scared to actually come live with you because I don't like the way that I look. I don't 
you know, I, lady, and, lady, I I know that I know this about a lot of y'all. I say that stuff to try to get a reaction out of y'all to say, you know what? He's right. But what am I going to do about it? I know that y'all don't really hold on. I know a lot of y'all have a lot of insecurities and pain, but guess what? Let me ask you this. Are you know how you know black women? You know the modern women, not just black that are more aggressive and me. They don't respond to you know, a lot of you are dealing with a lot of insecurities and you may not like the way you look, but I'm here to talk to you. Do y'all respect a man that talks like that? Be real. I do. No, you I don't. Can't speak. No, y'all don't. That don't have because that's how that's how that's it. That is how a man that likes other men would talk. And y'all don't have respect for the things that they say is men. No, you don't. Y'all don't respect y'all don't respect men that talk to y'all all soft in some little soft voice and tell you, I'm here, ladies, to hold your hand and whatever you're going through, it's okay. You can rely on me to have a conversation with. Yeah, no, I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, I can't respect that type of man. Thank you. That's what my point is. Y'all, y'all are not gonna respect that. I can't. But that's why I love But you know what? Podcast. But you know what? Y'all don't even have y'all barely want to come and have these conversations and be real and honest with me. Somebody who's told you over the last several years I've gotten a lot of results. I've helped a lot of women. I've helped a lot of homes. I've saved a lot of marriages. All praises be to Allah. I've done that. I've been able to do that with a lot of work. And even though that I can tell y'all that, y'all don't believe it. Y'all call me gay. Y'all say all kind of stuff. Every day I hear it. Countless numbers of times. Oh, I, I hate my mom or my mama hate me. All kind of stuff. Even though the results speak for themselves. Y'all need this type of talk. Y'all need a wake up call. Something is, it, listen, you should know this. The deeper the hole, the deeper the debt, the darker the place, the more it takes to get out. You ain't going to see no light. If you got uh, the, the flashlight on this phone and you in a real deep, dark hole, how in the hell are you going to see where you're at or where you're going? This little light on this phone ain't going to do nothing. You need a floodlight. You need the sun, maybe even. If it's dark, you need a, a man-made light might not even do it. You need the sun to come out. But when that sun come out, it's going to expose everything in that dark. I'm trying to be on a spiritual That's part journey. of it. That's part of what happens. You realize that, right? If somebody's yeah. in a white rock house, think about it. If somebody's in a white rock house, in order for them to get up out of there, right, and change that type of, they got to bust up and they got to get rid of all of it. That's why when the police, when they handle that type of stuff, they go in there and they bust the whole house up, bust it down, and even tear the house down, knock the whole house down. We're going to go in here and be nice to these people and be gentle to them, and hopefully they'll get off the drug. No, that's not how it works. I got to bust through all this junk with y'all because y'all all jacked up in the head. We are. Ain't no soft, easy talk going to keep you away from this man when he get out. Because you going to give him some more coochie. Say 
17 years! Lady, book a session. Book a session. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.